What's going on everyone? Welcome to Poppy TV. I'm your host Poppy and welcome to another episode where you see Okinawa through my eyes. So guys, I'm just here um, at the Sanabe uh, seawall. It's almost um, sunset, maybe 30 minutes to an hour more before sunset. Um, just taking in the nice cool breeze, the nice sea air, really beautiful out, really quintessential Okinawa-esque type landscape right now. But I'm parked in the seawall and today we're gonna do another food review. Another one. And this time it's one of the most, one of the more, not most, but one of the more popular food stops on the Sanabe seawall and it's CC Chicken and Waffles. So CC's Chicken and Waffles is actually the first chicken and waffles place that I've ever had. I've never had it in America. I actually had CC's Chicken and Waffles once when I was still in the military. And I went to, when I went back to the States, I actually tried an actual Waffle House and CC's Chicken and Waffles was amazing. So I have my order right here. Um, it's called Chunky Monkey. Let's open it up and see what's inside. So Chunky Monkey, I bought one. Well, so they have different combinations. So you can have, they have a whole menu there. And I'll put a link in the bio or the link in the description to show you the different types of um, food options they have on the menu. But I got one waffle and one piece of chicken. And pretty much Chunky Monkey is uh, bananas, pecans, and um, chocolate it baked in the waffle or cooked in the waffle with one piece of light crispy chicken. It looks so good. I'm gonna dig right in and see how it tastes. Itadakimasu. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look, 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 To be honest, the waffle in and of itself is not anything extraordinary. It's like any old pancake batter that you put in a waffle maker and you make the waffle. But what really makes this delicious is the sliced bananas and the pecans and that special um and that special Sissy's chicken and waffles uh, syrup that they make. That's what makes the waffle good. Mm. Now for the chicken. Mm. Really good. Now for the chicken. So the chicken is pretty good, it's above average, but light and flaky on the inside. Decently spiced, it's not it's not overly spiced. It's decently spiced, so it's not plain. It could have a little more kick in it, but it's pretty good. Mm. Mm. Nice and crunchy. So, CC's Chicken and Waffles, it's pretty good, pretty good place to go. I'm gonna start rating my food reviews now. Got a suggestion from a subscriber, I said I should rate my food reviews. So I'd rate CC's Chicken and Waffles a good six out of 10. Reason being is that 
it's not spectacular but it's above average you know the waffles aren't anything great i think it's the toppings that really give it the waffles a real kick and the chicken is above average but it isn't super like oh my god this is delicious type deal but i definitely i definitely will recommend coming by and checking out cc's chicken and waffles anytime you're at a seawall if you miss that american type cuisine that reminds you of the waffle house a place to go good food nice view what could go wrong you know but that's all i have for today remember to stay blessed and stay tuned and yeah i'll see you in the next one peace